What happened on your I'm on live there? now. What happened on your big fart, though? <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> My guys. It's not funny. Hi, sorry. All right, you didn't know my guess what I was going to say. Or know my guess. Joker's movie. Oh. We're going to watch it. That, I, 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 I don't know. What a guess. You want to guess what we're talking about? I was just going to ask that you put that in a um, Tupperware, not in the bowl. <laughs> Because it smells. <laughs> I smelled yesterday. What? You know what I smelled yesterday? Hang on. 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 Good morning, Alexis and Darren. Let's go. So this starts the next story. You stop. So you don't have to read that. It's not very long, but you have to remember your favorite part. That's what you're gonna write a pic and draw a picture of. Okay. Good morning, Gabby and Charlie. Good morning, Molly and Lucy. I drew a farm once. <laughs> Uncle Tony just said I drew a farm once. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Ella. Oh, good morning, Sasha at Bethany Beach. I'm jealous. I'd like to be there. Don't. <laughs> what? We started a schedule here this morning, and my children are actually awake. <laughs> uh, so they can start their work. So it's a little bit <laughs> not as quiet here this morning. Good morning, Mia and Wesley and Maddie and Brooke and Connor and Chris and Joshua. Wait, my largest child is coming to say good morning. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good day. Um, you're going to have a good art class. <laughs> yeah. He's 14 and super cool. <laughs> good morning, Brooke. <laughs> Not my Brooks, my student Brooks. Good morning, student Brooks. <laughs> um, yes, we are going to add Hank to the farm. Not today. He's later in the week. Can you guess what we might be drawing today? Brooks Gyro, I know you know. <laughs> Okay. Good morning, Smith family from Bushy Park. Good morning, Eliza and Alexis. We're going fast now. Good morning, London. We are going to do a horse. Uh, Gabby and Charlie say hi to you. <gasps> I need a shout out. <laughs> no, no shout outs for Uncle Charlie. Hey, can you ask if Charles put it on? <laughs> no, no. Good morning, Jake. <laughs> Good morning, Lila. Oh, it's it's really funny over here this morning. We are we are laughing it up over here. Good morning, Manny. Good morning, Lana. West friendship. We have some friends who have children that go to West friendship. That's awesome. Just a couple more minutes and we'll get started. Good morning, Maya. Stop. Uh -oh. All right, I think that's something. Good morning, Aaron and Thomas and Haley and Maddie. <laughs> Charlie Gyro just said a birthday once. <laughs> is, this, is this going with us or no? Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Allison. I 
right. Hank, come here. Hank is more interested in the food happening in the kitchen. Good morning, Adriana. My husband is making food in the kitchen. So that's where Hank currently is. So he will not come see me when there's potential for food to be dropped on the floor. Oh God, I'm just to give a whole list of things to do. Well, you. <laughs> he was brought to me with my potato chips. Oh God. So there's Hank. Say good morning. Good morning, hey, guys. I want some more chips. Hello. I love how you're still staring at him. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> All right, you can give them. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right. Any guesses? I didn't see any guesses about what we're doing. All right. Well, the first one is a frog. And my Kermit the Frog shirt on. <clears throat> Not sure if Savannah is on this morning or maybe she'll watch Boy, later. I know she loves her and her mom love Kermit the Frog. It's my only frog shirt. So that's what I pulled out to wear today. Okay, so we're going to start with the frog. And a frog is a carnivorous tailless amphibian. And they believe that frogs date back to 265 million years ago. And they're widely distributed, distributed, meaning they're found all over the world, but the greatest concentration of them are in tropical rainforests. And that's mostly the little um, tree frogs, which I love so much um, at the aquarium, actually. They have a lot, a lot of them either in the rainforest or if they're the poisonous ones behind glass cases. I think they're just awesome looking. Um, there's about, 6,300 species of frogs, so lots of different kinds. So when it comes time to coloring your frog, really anything goes, and I'm sure it would be an actual frog that you would see out in nature. Now the ones we're gonna, the one we're gonna do is kind of a generic frog that you would picture sitting on a lily pad kind of frog. But you can cut, you can make yours look like one of those like poison dart frogs if you want to. Just don't put it near like the pig. Um, and they're known for having a stout body and protruding eyes. And all frogs have skin secretion, so it has like something coming out of their skin. Um, a lot of times it's just distasteful for a predator, but some of them are poisonous and toxic to their, so it would kill their predator. Um, they're found in fresh water and on dry land as well. They lay eggs in the water. And then when the eggs hatch, they are tadpoles. And then they swim on the water and they actually have gills like a fish. And then as they mature, they become and turn into frogs and then they're um, on land and in water. And they do make a lot of noise. So they have a wide range of vocal vocalizations. If you ever out in the summertime, you might hear like the bullfrog kind of loud croak. They come out in, in like the late evening. Um, you can hear them. I know we have a little um, watershed area in our neighborhood, and you can really hear them over there um, in the late hours. And they eat worms, snails, slugs, plants, and then larger uh, varieties of frogs will also eat fish. And they are known to have sticky tongues that can reach out and grab prey that moves by pretty quickly, like a fast swimming fish or an insect, or um, I don't think a snail's moving pretty fast, but um, some other items that they want to eat are moving by fast. They can use their tongue to snatch it real fast and bring it back in. Okay, so we're going to start with our frog. And with the frog, we're actually going to start with the eyes because we want to make sure they're large and, as I said, protruding. I'm going to start with two circles for the eyes. And you can go ahead and do the inside part of the eye as well. Two big eyes. Mm 
Now we're gonna make like a semicircle or sort of like a taco shell shape. So we're gonna first put a line to connect the eyes like that. Now the taco shell is gonna come down and it's gonna form the really wide mouth. That reminds me of a, a joke, the wide mouth frog. I will not tell it though. Gabby knows it, I think Charlie knows it too. The bombers are on, they know it. Then you're gonna just go ahead and add the, um, the little dots for its nose area and a big wide smile. Now we're going to add some arms that are going to come out, or I guess front legs, and not really arms. But the way he's sitting, it sort of looks like arms. First, you're just going to make two parallel curved lines on each side, like this. <laughs> uh, I won't tell the joke because. You kind of have to look very silly when you do it. You finished? Okay. Are you ready to draw your picture? Mm -hmm. Is your paper right here? No, will you? Right there. If you want to look at this, you can just leave it right on there because then it won't make it bumpy. All right, now we're going to add little uh, feet, I guess. Okay. Now we're going to give him a little belly, sort of like his arms or his hands here are kind of on his belly like that. Then we're gonna make his back legs. All right, and that is our frog. And when you draw him, he can be sitting on a rock. That's where I drew him, sitting on a rock or sitting on a lily pad. Um, you can put him on a tree branch. I'm gonna just hold it here for a second. Also, I'm wearing um, my overalls today. When I got these overalls, I thought this is something our teacher would wear because uh, I feel like artists wear overalls. That's just my thought. And then, of course, when I got to school with all of my friends who live on farms, they were wondering why on earth I was wearing overalls to school because that's what farmers wear, not teachers. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. It's all in what you know. Uh, I think artists wear overalls and they thought farmers wear overalls. So I thought it would be a good time for me to wear my overalls with my frog shirt. Okay. Next up, we have a horse. 
And horses can be very difficult to draw because you really have to draw the, their muscles and the way their legs are jointed. So I chose to draw a sort of barely simplified down a horse um, to make it very easy for everybody to follow. Now, of course, if you are more of an expert of drawing horses, I know several of you are, so you can draw your own version of a horse or you can sort of make this horse um, the one we're drawing a little bit more detailed. It actually, kind of, the horse we're drawing sort of looks like, like a miniature horse or a miniature pony, but it's still really cute. So a horse is a mammal and it's evolved over five million years so they've been around a really long time and humans started domesticating horses around 4,000 BC uh, and there are some horses that still live in the wild most horses these days are domesticated meaning humans own them and use them for different things but there are some wild horses if anybody's been um, to the Outer Banks that's where we've seen wild horses before um, Way up in north in Corolla, there's wild horses that roam around out there. Sometimes you'll see them on the beach. I know when we used to go to um, Duck a long time ago, so this is before it really got built up, we would sometimes see them outside of the house we stayed in. We stayed in the little neighborhood. Um, so those are technically wild horses up there. And horses uh, live about 25 to 30 years. Um, and they're varying sizes. Like I said, today we're going to do one that sort of looks like a miniature horse or a pony, um, all the way up to draft horses, which are the biggest. They can get up over six feet tall and over 2,200 pounds. And their teeth have been adapted over time for grazing. So they eat grass and hay and grains and oats. And so they spend a lot of time just grazing in fields. Um, they can sleep standing up or lying down. Um, and they don't generally sleep for long periods of time. They generally sleep in um, periods of about 15 minute increments. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And horses are used and raised for sport, like riding for fun and recreation, or um, I know they use horses in hunting. Um, and then of course, horse racing for doing work around a farm. So they can help carry things because they can carry heavy loads. Um, I said recreation, and then of course products, um, milk and meat and things like that. So horses, <laughs> I like that part. Um, horses are very valuable to farmers, so we're going to need to put a horse oops, on our farm. Let me get this. Are you still using this? All right. So let me go down here. Just paper. Okay, we're going to start with sort of an oval shape that um, is a little bit wider on one end. This is actually going to be the face. So if it gets a little bit wider on one end, but then doesn't really come to a point. Hi, long girls. And then we're going to do the body. And depending on where you start the body is how long the <clears> neck <throat> is going to be. So we're going to attach the neck to the body. And the body is sort of a kidney bean shape. This is why we're practicing because you, the first time you do it, it might not be the shape you wanted. Also, you know, we usually build shapes into the final figure. So you could just sort of build your shapes and then do an outside tracing around the whole thing like we've done before. All right, now we're going to make that neck that I was talking about. You're going to attach from the back of the head to the back of the body and then um, sort of a third of the way into the head down to the main part of the chest. I'm going to hold it here for a second. What does it look like, honey? 
There's lots of greens in there. Okay, now we're gonna add a line that sort of separates the nose a little bit and then add the eye. And we're going to add the legs, and this is where it sort of started to look um, pony-like, because I made short little legs. So we're going to add... Thanks. Two legs, and you can erase these lines. Then you want to add some back legs. And then we're going to add a little hoof. Then we're going to add the ear. And if you want to erase that line, you can. Now we're going to add the mane. So we're going to add a mane on sort of his forehead area and then going down his back. And let's not forget his tail. You rascals have literally eaten every sweet thing in the house. It's unbelievable. Like what? And then we're going to add nose. Okay. Not And we have our horse. And you can add little details if you want to add some texture in the mane or some different colors. You can add, you can make your horse spotted. You could make um, different colors, a rainbow horse, different color and then tail, whatever you want. This is just a basic horse shape and then you can make it however you want. I have no idea where Hank went. Is he around your feet, guys? Yeah. I'm happy. Okay. And now our last one. is the chicken and so the chicken um, is a domesticated fowl and there are 23 billion chickens worldwide and it's the most common domesticated animal and people raise chickens as a food source um, for meat and eggs and some people just have them as pets, but usually they're for um, a reason, like meat and eggs. And I know people that have chickens now are loving it because they don't have to worry about the grocery stores running out of eggs. Make a little note. Yeah. Um, and they originated 
in South Asia, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. So that whole region. And then of course, now they're just worldwide. They're found everywhere. Um, and hens can produce up to 300 eggs per year. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a lot. And they eat fruits and vegetables and grains. Um, they're usually fed. They're not usually finding food out in the open, but they're fed by people. Hank is trying to put his bone on my foot so he can eat it. What you doing? No, he won't come. All right, I'll get him again. Don't worry. Got him. <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Oh, he's doing a good job looking now. He's looking for his bone. We call him Gooby because his um, his leash, his harness that he wears, the brand is Gooby. So it says Gooby on his back. So <laughs> Gooby is his nickname. Hi, Gooby. Okay, so let's draw the chicken. The chicken sort of has that a similar taco shape, a little bit rounder than a taco, than our frog head taco. So we're gonna start, gonna swoop down. And the bigger you make your, this part, the chubbier your chicken will be. Gooby, yeah, it's G-O-O-B-Y, right? G-O-O-B-Y, E-B. You know it, G-O-O. G-O-O-B-Y. Yeah. Would you say G-O-B-Y, No. That's a book set. All right. Now we're going to add its tail feathers. That's why I left that opening there. Now we're going to give him his facial features. We're going to start with an eye and a beak. And then um, some head feathers. And I forget what this thing is called. Maybe somebody can remember what this little thing is called. I don't remember. What? And then we're going to give him this little mark on his cheek. Now we're going to add the legs. We're going to add one in front and one in the back and with a very simple triangle foot. You can erase that one line. Looks like mine is sort of standing on a hill. And then we need to add his wing. And I believe that is our chicken. You want to say hi? No. I'm going to hold up mine. 
my final ones you can see. So you can see I added my horse up here, up here. And I did start to put little grass under my um, all my animals, but I'll fill in the main grass at the end. And I put my little frog down here on the rock. And I made him kind of, kind of a turquoise green because I didn't want him to be too green because I don't want him to blend in with the grass. And then I put, um, as somebody suggested, I put a little mud pit next to the pig so you can get in that if he wants to. And then I put my chicken up here at the top, sort of near the barn. Let's hold this up here. All right, so tomorrow we are good to go again at 10 a.m. And well, should be and should be same for Thursday. If something changes, I will let you know as soon as I find out as we start to get our teaching schedules, meeting schedules lined up here. Um, and then Friday for sure will be at 11 because I have another staff meeting at 9. Um, and I want you to have a great day. Show me some of these pictures that you, as you start to add things onto your farm, onto your final farm. It's not gonna be as nice a day here in Maryland, but you can still get outside, go for a nice walk with your family. Um, and then later in the week, it should be really nice again. So have an amazing day. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. I wanna see those pictures, so please post them and tag me. And if I've ever missed a picture, if I've ever not commented and you've, um, Tag me in it. I may have just missed it because sometimes several and I get several alerts at once. Just tag in the comments or write a comment and say, Miss Gyro, look here so I can see it. Okay? Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.